Hi there folks, Joel Self, Outdoor Instructor here, and we're going to go through a couple of different rope anchors today. We went through some sling anchors you can build um, in a previous video, so if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description. But let's hop straight into this, shall we? Very quickly guys, we're going to go through the two different types of anchor that we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about anchors that are in reach, so all of the adjustment can happen at the bits of gear. And we're going to talk about anchors that are out of reach. So instead of being stood nice and close to the gear, you're maybe going to be a few foot away nearer the, uh, near the edge so you can see down the line of the climb a little bit better. And we need to set these up in two different ways. If the anchors are within reach, then you can set up your adjustment on the anchor themselves or on the bits of gear. However, if they're going to be out of reach, you don't want to have to adjust here, go to the edge, find you got the wrong amount of slack, go back, readjust, go back to the edge. That in and out is just going to be really inefficient. And instead, we want to make sure the adjustment is on you so that you can go out towards the edge, adjusting as you need, and you can get yourself set up first time with no issues. So we're going to kick things off by talking about anchors that are within reach. So we're simply going to take the rope from our climbing harness and we're going to pop a clove hitch on our first piece of gear. We can then, using a little bit of slack rope between them, clip another clove hitch into our second piece of gear. And as we can start to see here, I'm anchored to one piece, but then we've got this bit of slack over to our second piece of gear. That's no good. We need to have really nice tight line between me and the first piece and me and the second piece. So to create that, we'll take the main body of our rope that will still be going down to our B layer at this point, And we'll take that over to our harness and we're going to pop a clove hitch in the rope. That's going to get clipped onto our rope loop using a nice big chunky HMS shaped carabiner. So if I pop that on the rope loop and I'll clip it in and then I can just snug these up so that I've got equal tension going between the two. So this one's a little bit loose still. I've got my anchors in reach so I can adjust them up here and that just suits me perfectly. Really nicely in tension. I won't sit back on them too much because my bolts here move as you may be able to tell. But that is our in reach anchor. Let's talk about out of reach anchors now where I'm going to be stood slightly further back when I'm belaying or sat on an edge uh, so I can look down the pitch and I'm not going to want to be adjusting things up here and then going out towards the edge and trying to fine tune things by coming back in. So the way I'm going to do that instead is clip through my first piece of gear and I'm going to keep the adjustment at me. So at the moment this is just acting as a, as a runner on a route. So if I take a HMS carabiner and I'm going to clip this on so that my gate is in the orientation that the rest of my gear is going. So I've clipped the leftmost bit of gear. I'm going to be building onto a rightmost bit of gear here. So my gate is going to be on the right hand side when I clip this to my harness. And that has gone straight onto the rope loop there, not the belay loop. So if I take the rope down from my first piece of gear, I can simply pop a clove hitch onto that big chunky HMS. And I can then take my rope up and through the second piece of gear. Again, bringing it down towards me and putting a clove hitch on the HMS. Because of the way I've orientated the gate here, it's kept everything really nice and clean. My two loops are very clearly seen and I'm not having all sorts of bits of rope crossed over one another in the middle. To adjust this and get myself out towards the edge and get everything set first time, I just have to pull up on the clove hitches, introduce the slack that I need, and I can start to move my way out. Obviously my bolts are going to move with me a little bit here, but it gives you the idea. We don't have to be able to reach these anymore to adjust them. I can do everything here and I can move even further back. I just don't want to disappear out of your view. So that's our out of reach anchors covered as well. So folks, in reach and out of reach anchors covered there. I hope that's helpful for you and it may show you why building the anchor from the rope can be really helpful sometimes if all of this is going to be quite far away from where you're finally going to end up as the B layer. So 
take note of these, go and practice them, uh, so that that way when you next go out, hopefully after all this COVID-19 business is over, then you'll be really fresh in your head how to set those up nice and efficiently, and you'll get them right and safe every time, picking the correct method for your situation and your belay stance, whether you're gonna be nice and close or a little bit further across the ledge. Thanks so much for watching guys. I've been Joel Self Outdoor Instructor. Bye bye. Thank you.